Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching header and footer tabs with different page orientations. You have a document with different page orientations, portrait and landscape. Watch this video to learn how to adjust the headers and footers for each change in the page orientation. While in the portrait page, either double click in the header if you have one, or go to the insert tab, click on it, and in the header and footer group, click the down arrow on header. And at the bottom of the group, select edit header. Now go to the view tab and make sure your ruler is checked. At this point, enter the text in your header. Now, if you have another section in your document and it's in landscape, and your sections are linked to the previous section, you will need to adjust your tabs in the next section, as well as deselecting the link to previous item. You will need to do this in the header and in the footer. If your tabs in the footer are similar to the header tabs in that they are set with tabs for a portrait page. Also, you will need to do this for any subsequent sections where the orientation changes from landscape to portrait and back again. With the header and footer tools tab available in the navigation group, go to next to display the next section. We are in a landscape page, and as you can see, our tabs are not in the correct center and right position for a landscape page. Also, the same as previous tab is displayed. Here's a tip. If the header text and tabs will remain the same for subsequent portrait page sections, before you change the tabs in the landscape page, go to each portrait section, and if there is a landscape page before the portrait page, click the link to previous item in both the header and footer so that the header text and tabs will remain the same and are not linked to the landscape pages. You will see why shortly. Now, go back to the first landscape page section. Go to the navigation group and click link to previous. Now, as you can see, the same as previous tab is no longer displayed and therefore it is not linked to the previous portrait page. Do the same thing in the footer if necessary. I'm going to go to the footer, click the link to previous, then I will click next to go to the next section. So I'm going to click link to previous. Then I'm going to go to the header in the same section and I'm going to click link to previous. Now I want to go back to my first landscape page, so I'm going to click previous. Now while in the landscape page, you want to adjust your tabs for a landscape page. So you can take the center tab and you can drag it to the appropriate location on the ruler. Do the same thing for the right tab. Click it and drag it to the correct position on the ruler. Do the same thing in the footer if you have text that you need to adjust. Do this in the subsequent sections as needed. Now, I want to show you why I gave you that tip for the portrait pages. Close your header and footer by clicking on the red X in the design group. Now, as we scroll up, we can see that our tabs are set for the correct positions in the header of the portrait page on page one. They are correct for the landscape page on page two. And since the portrait page on page three was no longer linked to the landscape page, the tabs remained the same as the portrait page on page one and were not changed when the tabs on the landscape page were moved. And that is the end of this lesson, header and footer tabs with different page orientations. 